Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and today I'm going to talk to you about gain staging and why it is important for your productions. Now, this might seem like a simple topic. Gain staging will make your recording happy, your mixing happy, your mastering engineer happy, but sometimes I think that it's one of those things that's very easy, but it's also very easy to be lazy in, and it can create lots of problems down the line. We all like to work fast, and sometimes we will cut corners. I know I do. And not just audio production, but in life in general, we're always kind of looking for that shortcut or we just get lazy and we cut corners. And gain staging is one of those things that if you cut the corner, it's going to cost you big time down the road. All right. And so in this topic, I'm not going to get into the technical. I'm not going to talk about you know decibels. I'm not going to talk about LUFS or DBVUs or DBFS. I'm not going to talk about any of that kind of stuff. Don't worry. I want to talk about practical. I want you to understand that you don't need to understand all the technical jargon. Just know that your signal is going to go through many different types of processing and you have to make sure that your signal maintains a healthy level throughout. In hardware analog days, you'd have your microphone running into a preamp. Your preamp might be running into an EQ, maybe into the compression and then to converters or tape machine or whatever. And you had to make sure that that signal was staying healthy throughout. If you see that's clipping at the very end of the signal, just going to the previous processor and turning down the output it is not going to help you because it might actually be clipping at the preamp level. So you have to go and check the chain. Make sure that it's not clipping the preamp. Make sure that it's not clipping into the EQ and the EQ is clipping. Make sure the EQ going to the compressor, the compressor is not clipping. And you have to make sure it stays healthy throughout. Now, what does this mean for you in the digital realm if you're not using hardware, if maybe you're just using the microphone into the preamp into your interface that has the converter? Well, first make sure that it's not clipping the converter. Make sure it's not clipping that preamp. Make sure that it's running into your DAW at a healthy level. Then when you're mixing, when you have your plugin chain, make sure it's not clipping plugins. It's the same thing. It might look like it's a healthy signal because you turned on the output or maybe a plugin at the very end of the chain. But the thing is, it's clipping a plugin before it, and that means your signal is not healthy. So you have to check your entire chain. So think about it. If you're running that vocal into an EQ and you start maybe doing some boosting, you are increasing gain. Use that output um, attenuator and bring it down so that the levels match. So that way when it goes into the next part of the processing chain, the, the, the signal stays healthy. So then same thing with that compressor. If you're making different moves on the compressor and maybe you increase the gain, make sure to use that output, bring it down a little bit so that way it enters into the next part of the signal at a healthy level. Make sure you're checking throughout because when you're making these changes, you're changing the signal and you have to make sure that it stays healthy. And especially when you start busting a bunch of stuff together and you're running it into one you know, aux channel or sub bus and now you have all these signals coming together, you're going to have all that energy moving into one channel, make sure that it's not clipping. Make sure that everything is staying at that healthy level. I hope you got something out of this. Please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you did. Leave me any comments if you have any questions or just want to reach out and say hello. I do respond to all my comments, good or bad. I love it. Um, To all my other subscribers, I appreciate your continued support. I am Brad Johnson at Johnson.audio where I just want to help you create music that people love. I will see you on the next video. Bye.